brows and I've been letting them grow. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, thank you for stopping by. We have a lot of fun over here for the most part, all the time, okay? So my name is Shanae K. Golden Child Chi. If you didn't already know that, you probably not subscribed. So let's fix that. Let's give you a minute to go ahead and hit the red subscribe button down below. Doop, subscribe. So I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows today. As you guys can see, I have very thick eyebrows and I've been letting them grow out for a while. My eyebrow lady got pregnant. The salon is in like a, a nail salon slash eyebrow place. So obviously due to the fumes, she stopped doing eyebrows. <laughs> so yeah, I hope she's doing well. She was the only person that really got me together every time. But now I've just been having to figure it out. So today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be outlining my eyebrows with my Anastasia. Beverly Hills Zip Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. So here we go. Let's get the Nifty 50 Nifting. And if you guys don't know what Nifty 50 is, that is the lens that I'm using that allows me to have this like super cool zoom where you guys can actually see the products. Okay. And then I'm gonna be using my Morphe M165 brush. Okay, girl, we done leveled up. We had three, we had 3K now, we leveled up. Things are different. And I'm gonna be using my LA Tweez. Tweezer, I got this from my auntie. Shout out to my auntie because this is a good quality um, tweezer and I probably would not have been buying these myself. So, I have my mirror here, so for the most part I'm gonna be looking there, but you guys should still be able to see what I'm doing. So, it's been a while guys. It's been a really long time. And I like to keep my eyebrows thick. So keep that in mind, if you like a thinner brow, then, I mean, this tutorial could still be for you, but just keep in mind that I like a more natural looking brow. I don't like, I don't like sparse. That's my problem when I go to a lot of brow people, which is why I haven't been in months or years. Yeah, I haven't been in a really, really, really long time. Like a long time. Actually, do I have white liner? I don't think I do. Oh man. I saw somebody do that as well. They took like a white liner and they like outlined their brows and then they did it that way. But I'm just gonna work with what I have. So I'm just gonna take my pomade and I like to like dab it in here. So this is all about brows. Like brows change the whole face because my braids are crusty. If you guys haven't already seen the video on these braids, I did them myself. So this is week five, girl. Okay, and usually I would have taken them out, but honestly, they don't look bad. So I'm gonna keep them in probably for like another week, and then I'm gonna take them out because I think at that point, like I'll be pushing it, so yeah. So I'm just gonna start by outlining right here. I'm basically filling in my brows for the shape that I want. And I'm trying to do it fairly lightly so that I can get like an accurate um, outline for me to pluck. I think this one is pretty okay so far. Okay. All right, so you guys see the difference? So maybe I should start by plucking that one out. Now you guys can see the hair here that I need to remove, so all of this needs to go. So my eyebrows are super thick. If I could find like a child picture, I'll put in here like a childhood picture, but I have like a two-step eyebrow. Like my eyebrows are like level one and level two. I have like two layers of brows. So this is a little painful, so if you see me wincing, that is why, but I try to move like pretty quickly so that, let me just show you guys the brow. 
so on outlined outlined all right and what I want to try is feathered brows I really want to try that because my brows are thick so I think I have like the perfect brows to make that work and that brings me into my other video which I'm gonna do separately I'm gonna be reviewing the Anastasia brow freeze so it's like the clear gel that's supposed to like mold your eyebrows into place and it says that it's great for like feathered brows but honestly I think it would be a good replacement well not replacement because that thing is $23 $23 I think it would be a good like little additive to my essence brow um gel so if you guys don't use brow gel it's just it just makes your eyebrows look more put together it just holds them in place versus having your eyebrows like get smudged and stuff and also and I know some people use powder to set their brows I've never done that so can't really you guys can see that's good So it's so like a little tiny hair and I really want to get a shape so I'm kind of like pulling my brow up so I can get under where I outlined so I can take like all these straight hairs out because there's some like hairs that are not like long but they're there so they make it look like messy so I'm pulling those out. So this is how we're looking so far. Isn't that much better? Like, can't be just having crusty eyebrows out here. Or you can, honestly, I feel like I can rock either one, to be honest with you. It's the versatility for me. <laughs> all right, so I have hair all over my face. Let me put down this brush. I don't need this. Oh, let me close up my Anastasia before it dries out. $25 or however many dollars this thing is. It's expensive. And I like to get the top also. So it's usually like finer hairs at the top because I don't really pluck. Well, I don't really like take much hair off the top because I don't want to thin my brows out. And I don't really have much of a unibrow, so I don't really touch the middle because sometimes when I used to go to the to the salon, they used to take too much from like here and then my eyebrow would just end up looking like super short and super weird and super not much though. Not my table sliding off. What the hell? Ciao! Don't do that. All right, I still feel like there's some like tiny hairs that are not coming out. This is why I get my eyebrows threaded because they would have yanked these right up. Maybe if I powder the area, it'll be more dry and then I'll be able to get more hair out. I'm gonna take some of this air spun powder and just powder my brows. Just enough to get it. There's this one hair that I'm trying to get out. How we looking? <laughs> Girl. Unclockable, period. All right, let me just hurry up and do the next one. I took a time lapse in between. I don't think I need to talk you guys through this one. It's pretty much the same process.
Okay, so this is what my eyebrows are looking like. I am satisfied with them. I like the arch. I like everything. There's no like little hairs there. I kind of want to wipe them out so you guys can actually see them. But girl, I'm supposed to be recording a video right after this. But um yeah like okay Whew. I might wipe them out a little bit so you guys can see what they look like without any product so I'll probably just like brush it out All right, so I wiped most of it out. Let me know what you guys thought. So I took out like the one or two of my braids in the back of my head. So if you see it, don't say nothing. If you see something, don't say nothing. All right, so that is it for my brows. So I'm really happy with how they came out. Um, it came out better than usual. I think I'll be using this method going forward just because I feel like it's more accurate more precise and it just gives me a very clear idea of what exactly I need to be taken off because sometimes I do take off too much and then when I go to fill it in it's like girl you should never done that so yeah I do like how it came out okay let me just take one little piece here so we're good I hope this video is helpful for you guys if you plan on doing this method for your eyebrows you only need four things so the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade or any brow pomade or maybe just even brow gel eyebrow brush no eyebrow makeup brush eyebrow spoolie I guess and the tweezers so that is all I use to groom my brows don't forget to hit the like button if this video is helpful or if you're just trying to be nice um, hit the red subscribe button on your way out drop a comment down below let me know how you guys typically like groom your eyebrows if you just are someone who not really into eyebrows and all that stuff and I will see you guys in my next video